This is the summary for lesson 14, presented a little bit differently than what's in the student workbook. Um, two lines that intersect. Um, adjacent angles are supplementary. They add to nine, or, <clears throat> I'm sorry, 180 degrees. So by adjacent, this is a word or term that we had in seventh grade. Adjacent means they share a common side. So they're right next to each other. And so they are supplementary angles when two lines intersect. So they add to 180 degrees. These two angles are also supplementary. They add to 180 degrees. These two angles are supplementary. These two angles are supplementary. And furthermore, it's just showing the same thing I just said. Furthermore, if you go across the intersection to the other side, those angles are going to be congruent. They are vertical angles. They're equal. So 180 degree rotation will take this angle over to here. And it proves that they are congruent angles. They are um, equal. They are also vertical angles. Congruent angles, corresponding parts are equal. If you do the same thing on the other side, the 70 degrees, you can rotate that 180 degrees around here. It's going to land right here. It will be equal to this angle. So this is 70 degrees and this is 70 degrees. So once again, if you go through the intersection that's called a vertical angle, they will always be equal. So vertical angle this way, 70 and 70. A vertical angle this way, 110 and 110. A 180 degree rotation around a point not on the line always results in a parallel line. So the center of rotation is the midway between the corresponding points. So this is a little bit different than what's in the summary in the student workbook. So I'm going to take this entire image and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees around a point not on the um, line. And you're going to see that this line right here is going to end up parallel over here. This line is just going to be extended. So you're going to end up with two parallel lines and then a line that goes runs between them. And if you remember, that is called the transversal. All right, so here it is. This is the center of rotation. I took this entire image and I rotated it 180 degrees around. And so since it is a rotation, nothing has changed. These angles have not changed at all. And so this is 70 degrees. This is 70 degrees, 110 degrees. 110 degrees. Another way to do this is just to take this image and translate it up here. But since we used rotations to show alternate interior angles, I'm going to use a rotation here. All right, so if you go through, um, these are vertical angles. So 110 degrees, 110 degrees, 70 degrees, and 70 degrees. They're also supplementary angles. So the two angles on this side have to add to 180. They have to equal halfway around the circle or form a straight line. The corresponding angles, the colors, are equal. So this angle here is equal to this angle. So it got rotated 180 degrees. It landed right here. So the size didn't change. It just got went through a rigid transformation. We had this earlier. Rigid transformation, nothing changes. The angles don't change size. So this angle here is corresponds to this angle. They are equal. This angle up here, you rotate it around, lands right here. It's equal. This angle right here, you rotate it around 180 degrees, lands right here. It is equal. So everything is equal. So these are alternate interior angles. And so once again, the rotation, this is the midpoint. This rotates around and lands right there. Interior means on the inside between the two parallel lines. So this is an alternate interior angle. It's equal to 70 degrees. And this is an alternate interior angle. It equals 110 degrees. And that makes sense. These, both of these angles have to add to 180 degrees, a straight line. Both of these angles have to add to 180 degrees, a straight line. So one of the points up oh, there is the 110 degrees. So these are alternate interior angles, 110 degrees. So one of the points they make in the student workbook is that if you're given just one size of the, just one angle, 
you can figure out the remaining seven angles. So let's say that you're given the 110 degrees here. This is a vertical angle, 110 degrees. This is a supplementary angle, 70 degrees. Vertical angle, 70 degrees, or supplementary if you want to use that. And this just translates down here. You have or rotates 180 degrees. Either one works. And now you have alternate interior angles that are equal. They form supplementary angles, vertical angles. So different ways to figure out the remaining seven angles. Summary for lesson 14.